The NSA review group was critical of the administration's defense that the agency's data gathering efforts have helped thwart terrorist attacks. It wrote, quote, our review suggests the information contributed to terrorist investigations by the use of Section 215 telephony med metadata was not essential to preventing attacks and could readily have been obtained in a timely manner using conventional Section 215 orders. Moreover, there's reason for caution about the view that the program is efficacious in alleviating concern about possible terrorist connections, given the fact that the metadata captured by the program covers only a portion of the records of only a few telephone service providers. Ben Weisner, translate that into English. Explain Section 215 and what this means. Well, Section 215 was always a controversial section of the Patriot Act. Uh, it was what we used to refer to as the library records provision, because it allowed the government, uh, basically just on a relevant standard, meaning almost anything, to, to, to get any records from third parties. But having said that, none of our worst fears about this uh, even approached what the government was actually doing. Uh, the government was using Section 215 of the Patriot Act to require every telephone company in the United States on a daily basis to turn over every record of every phone call. Um, so essentially, they were sitting on this enormous map of every American's communications, uh, and they were doing this with one order a year um, from the FISA court, just one order saying, uh, saying that this would be relevant. And their argument for relevance was, well, one, someone's going to do something wrong at some point, and we need to have the whole database to search it. In other words, we need to have a whole haystack because one day someone's going to drop a needle into it. Uh, and it really turns the Fourth Amendment upside down. Uh, the, the, the law should require the government to have suspicion first and search second. This essentially said, we'll collect it all first, and maybe we'll need it later. Uh, and it was a justification for, uh, for more than just this. It would be a justification for flying a drone over every city at all times or, or, uh, or for putting cameras even in our own home. Uh, so what this panel says is, number one, there's no evidence that this was useful for stopping terrorist attacks and that you couldn't have done it in a more narrow way. And number two, there is a danger in having the government sit on this pile of information, uh, because if there is a terrorist attack in the future, if there is a war in the future, um, the rules that prevent the government from going into that and using it for any purpose could easily be swept aside. We're going to break and then come back. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global grassroots news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org today. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.